What's up, party people? It's Keys Dan with RadioWhat.com, DJLittleRock.com, coming to you live and in living color from the Radio What studios. And this is my podcast, What Makes You Smarter? It's an extension of the RadioWhat.com internet radio station that I've been running for quite some time. And if you need DJ services, where do you go? DJLittleRock.com, DJLittleRock.com. Check availability and get a free price quote. And maybe you can have me at your next event. (laughs) And you can sing for me. Yeah, I do karaoke shows too. Weddings and parties and corporate events and all that kind of stuff. All the usual stuff you'd want some good music playing at. You know, I conform to you. I become who you want me to be. I'll play the music you want me to play. I'll be the entertainer that you want me to be. I conform to you. Speaking of you, if you would like to tell your story, I encourage you to check out my other podcast, What Makes You Famous. Find it everywhere using the hashtag What Makes You Famous. But for today, let's learn together on What Makes You Smarter. Now, on with the show. Today on the program, Nancy Green. Who is Nancy Green? I'm kind of curious. Her name has been brought up in the news very recently as I record this. Let's find out more about Nancy Green. Nancy Green. She was born on November 17th, 1834, and she died on August 30th, 1923. She was a storyteller, a cook, an activist, and the first of several African-American models hired to promote a corporate trademark known as Aunt Jemima. Nancy Green was born into slavery on November 17th, 1834, near Mount Sterling in Montgomery County, Kentucky. She was hired in 1890 by the R.T. Davis Milling Company in St. Joseph, Missouri, to represent Aunt Jemima, an advertising character named after a song from a minstrel show. Davis Milling had recently acquired the formula to a ready-mixed self-rising pancake flour from St. Joseph Gazette editor Chris L. Rutt and Charles Underwood and were looking to employ an African-American woman as a mammy archetype to promote their new product. In 1893, Green was introduced as Aunt Jemima at the World Columbian Exposition held in Chicago in the guise of a plantation slave, where it was her job to operate a pancake cooking display. Her amicable personality and talent as a cook for the Walker family, whose children grew up to become Chicago Circuit Judge Charles M. Walker and Dr. Samuel Walker, helped establish a successful showing of the product, for which she received a medal and certificate from the Expo officials. After the Expo, Green was reportedly offered a lifetime contract to adopt the Aunt Jemima moniker and promote the pancake mix. However, it is likely this was part of the lore created for the character rather than Green herself. This marked the beginning of a major promotional push by the company that included thousands of personal appearances and Aunt Jemima merchandising. Nancy Green maintained her job with Davis Milling, which was renamed Aunt Jemima Mills Company in 1914. Her primary occupation as of 1910 was residential, quote, housekeeper, end quote. And she retained this position until her death in 1923. As I'm learning more about Nancy Green and her Aunt Jemima persona. There's more information on her Wikipedia. It goes on to talk about her church organizing and philanthropy. Green was one of the organizers of the Olivet Baptist Church. Her career allowed Green the financial freedom to become an activist and engage in anti-poverty programs. She was one of the first African-American missionary workers. She used her stature as a spokesperson to become a leading advocate against poverty and in favor of equal rights for individuals in Chicago. Death. Green died on August 30th, 1923, in Chicago, 
when a car collided with a truck and flipped over onto the sidewalk where she was standing. She is buried in the northeast quadrant of Chicago's Oakwood Cemetery. It goes on to talk about a lawsuit. In 2014, a lawsuit was filed against PepsiCo claiming that Green and Anna S. Harrington, the black woman who portrayed the character of Aunt Jemima starting in 1935, were exploited by the company and cheated out of the monetary compensation they were promised. The plaintiffs were two of Harrington's great-grandsons, and they sought a $2 billion settlement for descendants of Green and Harrington. The lawsuit was dismissed with prejudice and without leave to amend on February 18th, 2015. That's a little bit about Nancy Green. What do you know about Nancy Green and her Aunt Jemima persona? I know that's been in the news lately as I record this. This has been What Makes You Smarter. I'm learning. Hopefully you're learning along with me about what's going on in the world. If you'd like to tell your story or hear the stories of others, I encourage you to check out my other podcast, what makes you famous find it everywhere using the hashtag what makes you famous that's it for me it's keys dan radio what.com dj little rock.com peace i'm out of here if you like what you hear i encourage you to follow what makes you smarter on social media find it on facebook at what makes you smarter instagram at what makes you smarter twitter at smarter what and youtube Username, Keys Dan. Leave What Makes You Smarter podcast a review and subscribe. Listen to What Makes You Smarter podcast on Spotify, iTunes, YouTube, Stitcher, Google Podcasts, and Podcast Addict. My personal favorite? Learn with me on my podcast, What Makes You Smarter. And if you'd like to tell your story, I encourage you to check out my other podcast, What Makes You Famous. Find it everywhere using the hashtag What makes you famous call 501-470-6386 and leave a message to set up a time for what makes you famous support what makes you smarter podcast using the paypal paypal.me forward slash keys dan email info at radio what.com what makes you smarter is a production of keys dan enterprises incorporated at keys thank you for listening